The answer to the last week's picture quiz. This is polydactyly. That means more than five toes or fingers. The purpose of picture quiz is not to discuss about any of the syndromes, but to introduce to you few of the clinical signs and when you encounter such a sign, how to think, how to proceed, what to look for next. In clinical medicine, it's always a chain like thought. You see something, what to look for and how to uh, make use of that clinical sign for the diagnosis. Polydactyly need not always be associated with other malformations or symptoms. It can be just a benign, an additional finger. Maybe the uh, same situation is there in the family members. But it can be associated with the other malformations in small percentage, maybe 10 to 15 percentage. It can be just a soft tissue tag. It can be the other components also. Bone can be the, tendon can be the, nails can be the, just like in this case. It can be on this side, let's say, it's called preaxial. It can be on this side, it's called postaxial. There can be middle fingers also. In this case, it's very difficult to differentiate preaxial or postaxial because seven numbers on each tooth and there are 12 numbers in the fingers and total 26 numbers of tooths are there in this case. So when you see such a case, what other systems will you examine? What other clinical signs will you look for? There are lot many polydactyly syndromes. We won't be discussing the names of all these things. One of the commonest association is obesity, intellectual retardation, uh, disability and uh, retinal changes, retinitis pigmentosa. And what you need to ask for is, is there any night blindness or visual problems? You have to check for the obesity with a little bit of short stature. Not tall and obese, but short and obese. And there can be a renal malformation also. This is Bardet Beadle or Laurel Moon Beadle syndrome. There are a lot many other syndromes out of which one is a Halteran syndrome where the radius is abnormal and thumb abnormality can be there. And uh, many other situations there can be uh, associated of single atrium, atrial septal defect and all. So heart is to be checked. And very interestingly, the hematological system and the skeletal system are closely related. One of the entities is the thumb anomaly. You can get a lobster thumb, bifid thumb, triphalangeal thumb, there can be an absent or abnormal radius here. So platelets, RBC are closely related with the skeleton. And you may get other skeletal malformations also. There can be spine malformation, other foot malformations, uh, and uh, skin changes, uh, darkness, cupola spots, many, many other entities in the case of Fanconi's constitutional plastic anemia. So, cardiovascular system association can be the hematological system association can be the mental retardation and neurological problems. So these are the other systems in a case of polydactyly which you need to consider. By the way, there is another case which came last week. It's a perfectly normal child. You see, they say polydactyly this attachment is only soft tissue. They didn't remove it because uh, they want to keep it. It's a sign of luck. And interestingly, other hand of the child is having a small uh, finger remnant here also. This is very important because the removed finger also is having the same importance as a polydactyly. One very interesting thing about the polydactyly is all of us know the reason for the malformations. It can be a problem with the seed, it can be a problem with the soil. That means genetic problem or early few months of organogenesis affected by drugs and toxins. Uh, Intrauterine infections and radiation, many things. 
here the interesting interesting uh, finding is this particular finding argues that it is definitely 100% genetic it cannot be teratogens why how can you say no teratogen can add a new organ a teratogen cannot add a finger so polydactyly an additional finger cannot occur there can be malformations of many of the normal organ but additional thing occurring is definitely genetic so that's the importance of a polydactyly you can certainly say that it's a genetic disorder and look at the mother's fingers she's having a little finger here so what is the uh, management and all i won't be going if it is uh, producing problems you can remove it maybe before school entry maybe if it is on the food maybe before he starts walking and all depends upon the difficulty depends upon how much of bony tissue is the uh, reconstruction and all it's all the surgical part so that's enough thank you